Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. Let me draw up the uh, the user market. So, um, here we are. We have the 90% of the market. We have the, I would call the majority of the, the, the serious audiophiles, which is like the 9% of the market. And then we have the 1% of the market. Those are the people with the power they can almost do anything they want to they just don't necessarily have the expertise and the time so i'm just gonna quickly go through this and hopefully this is going to help you guys you're not gonna become like oh this 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 detail that, that this is just how i see it i could of course be wrong this is just me trying to help you to give you a better understanding of how you can move your sound up to the higher level so Whatever you decide to 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 get from this information, uh, that that's that's up to you. I just hope that I can um, somehow contribute to to you getting a, a better sound. So let me dive into it. Around ninety percent of the market, the consumers only has a system costing up to a total of five thousand U.S. dollars. Is my guess from visiting a lot of people again this is just me guessing and knowing that I can predict that generally people will only have like around 50 to 200 US dollars based on on this piece of information on hi-fi per month and this means that they will most likely fall into the trap of trying to improve their sound with their upgrades by just changing and biasing it. So most likely this group of people will buy some sort of China gear or the cheapest stuff from the Western world. And because of their limited reach money-wise, they will most likely not save up, but only use a couple of months of their leftover wages after the, the paid expenses and then they'll use it on gimmicky stuff. So I suggest that you instead save up for something that is a higher class, something like the mid start of like 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 the bottom start of the mid class, something like that. Something that you find is good. And that you then make a big upgrade only once every let's just say six to twelve months until you then have a complete system because i consider this to be a much more sustainable and 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 fun overall thing to do that will create a lot more happiness in the long run so um i simply suggest that that you keep one system for life and you persevere you know you 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 make it work by simply running it at the highest potential you can force it to do. Instead of going from the newest tech, like every two years going to a new system, you know, where you change everything. Um, I feel that this will give you a lot more uh, fun and be a lot more rewarding. So um, sometimes you can also buy some, some, some new gear if you're lucky in, in this category here. But overall, my tip is to to kind of hear most things you know away from your own home in, in different conditions and um borrow at home and then make a long term hi-fi plan finding out what you want and then stick to that so and for the rest um this is like the one percent what i mean here you could draw a lot of people into to different groups, but overall I would say in this category that I would fix the problem at the highest level and buy stuff like the mid to highest level models for the one percenters. And I would forget most of the cheap stuff. So if your sound is like harsh and mechanical, you could of course use a lower grade Fruitec plug to fix that on the surface. But I would suggest that you instead use like a higher model of Fruitec if you want to do that. Or even better using Wattgate silver plugs or 
um, OEAT uh, power plugs, for example. You know, that, that's just an example of how to solve a problem on a higher level. And at this high level of 1% of the users, I really suggest that more users use a lot more time on the small things to enable the big things to happen. So, yeah, you want uh, the latest amp, CD, DAC, speaker, fine, but just use time on that, you know, um, have all the small things work for you. So when you're trying these things out, it just makes a lot more sense doing it. And yeah, you know, if I was in that 1%, you know, I would then have a system that's audio node, Anegra and spectral. That That's what I would do. Maybe you would do something different. But like here, the 9%, I think this is a very um, uh, important part to, to show you guys. I feel that a lot of people that we know at work that are our hi-fi buddies, let's just say you have a normal work and you live in San Francisco and you're a programmer or, I don't know, a starting actress or just just the just a regular person in that city that lives an, an average life with an average wage in that city. It's easy when you when you when you're living that life to be in the nine percent, not in the ninety percent, but in the nine percent. So on paper, it looks like you've made it. You know, you're probably earning like a hundred, hundred and fifty, hundred, two hundred thousand dollars but in in fact you know when, when when you boil it down to the numbers you you're still broke you know you still got debt you still got you know you, you're tied to your job you don't have any time and because of that because you're living in this stressful world it's just wasting money on everything so usually a, a lot of these people they will use um thousand to five thousand dollars on yearly vacations They'll probably go out with their partner every month and use like five hundred to a thousand dollars on on small visits to restaurants, like once every week, and you know, a salad probably costs like twenty bucks or something like that, just just for something that's in a bag, and you you probably get my drift, you know, and 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 these people usually pay I don't know something like two to ten thousand dollars in rent. And, you know, you're not eating at home, so you're using like 500 bucks extra on, 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 on food because of this, what you call latte factor, because you're constantly having a Coke or a beer or whatever, a coffee at Starbucks. And, you know, these people on paper look like they, they earn a lot, but when you look at them outside, they're just regular Joes like me and you. And they might have something like uh, something that's a bit cool, like, like a Tesla Basic Model 3 or like a Volkswagen Golf that's within a couple of years or five, I mean, maybe even 10 years old. But these people constantly are locked in the system. They constantly have the newest phone, the newest iPad, the newest computer. And, you know, money's just drifting out of the system to, to the right and left, you know, it's, it's not uncommon in my country where I work, e even though th this isn't a super rich country, that you no know, regular people that have a shitty wage, they still use like one, two, three thousand dollars on, on clothes and, and shoes every year. I mean, I, I find that personally to be a lot of money, but you know, a lot of people in my country don't, don't think that, but and, 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 you know, sometimes it's even up to $10,000. You just, just regular Joes that, that work with you. They just have a regular job, you know. And these could even be people that are, you know, you know taking out your, your rubbish or a bus driver or something like that, you know. And I just think that <clears throat> I just wanted to highlight this to show that these are people in the 9%. They are the people that can can get the the really good stuff in in hi-fi. You don't have to be the one percent. These are people that if they pull themselves together, if they reduce their 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 you know money um, you know uh, factors here that that are basically making them lose money to the right and left. If if they if they don't live in that lifestyle but that they tr try to adopt this more normal lifestyle like over here they can then go like two or three years without that 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 nice lifestyle then they can get that one system that they want for their entire life 
and I, I think a lot of people that watch my videos and, and generally are on YouTube, they live in this 9%. They just don't want to admit that to themselves because they want to go like, like, oh, I'm one of the 90% and I'm never going to get anything. No, I, I think that actually a lot of people in the Western world live in this 9% category. And I'm just saying that, you know, if, if you skip these things, if you don't pay $5,000 per year on clothes and shoes, if you buy that used instead, and, and if you just have a car that, that's only half as good, and, you know, skip restaurants, and, 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 and skip eating outside, and skip those vacations, if you just do that for like two or three years, I think a lot of those people will then feel like they have a lifestyle after they've been poor for like for like two or three years i think a lot of those people will suddenly get to feel a lot more like the one percent so uh, i'm not trying to divide people and, and and tell them where they belong i'm just saying that these are the solutions that i see and i hope that you guys can can use that to your advantage because this is like the the modern new um poor person you know this is where when you get ideally what you want in life you will get in this zone where in a way you're a lot richer than these people over here but again not really you're just more in debt but you just have a bigger <laughs> guarantee of having a job so it, it's kind of a weird thing isn't it? it it's kind of a weird thing but i hope this helps you guys and um, I hope it, it really gives you the tools that you guys need to, to get the good gear so you don't have to use all the money on that really cheap and uh, not so long lasting gear. So this is me logging out. Remember to like and subscribe if that's possible. Bye.